What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, in this room we're going to make an ambulance, now I know the hospital is so old but I never made one of these, and also I may be making this for a reason now all of a sudden, also sorry at the end of the video, I get randomly like really stuffy, so if I sound a little weird that's why, I don't know why I did that, but um, yeah, I will do a little bit extra, I'll actually add a steering wheel there, and um, yeah with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, or don't, up to you. Alright, so the space menu for this is a 7x13, and the materials we need to start off are black concrete. Or gray, whichever you think would be better for the tires. Or even black wool. That might be the best option, actually. Stone buttons. Smooth stone slabs. Red concrete. White concrete. Dark oak doors. Glass panes. There's one thing that I wanted to get and I don't remember what it was. We'll go with smooth quartz blocks. I don't remember what it was. And I guess acacia buttons, because I can't think of what I needed. It might have been smooth stone slabs, but we already have those. Um, so this 7x13 is oriented from front facing. So starting from the front left hand corner of your 7x13 grid, call it for every minute. So that will be right here on the ambulance. But you want to count back by two and right by one and place a black concrete. Or whatever block you prefer it is. As you can see that is not showing very well. So I'm actually going to switch it to a black, not, not a lodestone, that's definitely not right. I think I'm going to switch it to a black wool. It's still, yeah, okay, that's a lot more. That's a lot better for contrast. You then want to place a, actually no, don't do that yet. You want to bring this backwards with six opposite on smooth stone slabs. Black wool. Two opposite on smooth stone slabs. Then move right with four. Forward with one. Forward with a black wool. Forward with six upside down smooth stone slabs. Black wool. Upside down smooth stone slabs. Then you want to go left with four upside down smooth stone slabs. Just like that. Now. You want to fill in the center of this here in with upside down smooth stone slabs. Just like that. You then want to place on the outer face of each black wool or whatever your block is, you want to place a stone button. There should be four of them. It's the those. Then from the front left hand corner moving backwards, you want to place three red concrete, dark oak door, two red concrete, or, er, wait. Yeah, it is two red concrete. Dark oak door. Oh, yeah, no, that's correct. Three red concrete. No, that isn't correct. What? Oh, no, you want to place four red concrete moving back. Sorry. 
Then move right with a red concrete. Then a dark oak door. Two red concrete. Then move forward with three red concrete. Dark oak door. Two red concrete. Dark oak door. Three red concrete. And then left with three more red concrete. Just like that. Before I forget, at the back of the build, you want to bring these smooth stone slabs backwards with an additional row of upside down smooth stone slabs. It should be sticking over the edge by one. That's why I got confused. Because I thought I knew I thought this was going to be four, which it is. But I thought, but I knew there was an edge, and I forgot that I didn't actually put it in. So that's my bad. What you want to do now is going in that same orientation. This front left hand corner moving backward. You want to place two glass panes. That's not right. It is two glass panes. I just misplaced them. And then you want to place white concrete on the entire left side and back side. And then on the right side, place three moving forward. Skip over the door. Two more. Skip over the door. One white concrete. Two glass panes. And then left with three glass panes. Just like that. You want to bring your w white concrete and your dark oak doors up with an additional row of white concrete. Just like that. <clears throat> and then you want to bring your glass panes up with a row of smooth stone slabs. And then you should have like a kind of like a bumper shape or a very elongated U. The three blocks that are open here in the middle, you want to place full smooth stone blocks in there. I'm just going to use two slabs to create a block, because you can't see the line anyways. Actually, you can see it a little bit, but it's up to you whether you want it there. I'm just going to leave it, because I think it's fine. And yeah, because see, the line is above that, so you can see it. It's not just my imagination. Alright. Now what you want to do is you want to get rid of your black wool and your stone buttons and get out red wool and orange wool. Sorry, my voice is like leaving. It's exiting the building. No, you don't want that. Okay. That works, I guess. I'm going to leave that there because, oops, because I don't need it. All right, so from this front left-hand corner of white concrete here, this upper one, you want to place a smooth stone slab on top of it. Bring it right with a red wool. Orange wool, red wool, smooth stone slab. You then want to place along the ceiling, you want to place a white concrete directly behind that so you can see where that is. It's kind of like down diagonally backwards from it, actually. And then b the row behind that, you want to place a smooth scorch blocks on top of this front row of white concrete. Although there isn't actually white concrete that's being placed directly on top of here. It's just basically, um, what's it called? It's just basically going up diagonally backwards by one. Sorry if that explanation is dumb, but that's what it should be. <coughs> ah, sorry. Now what you want to do is you want to, <clears throat> you want to bring the smooth quartz blocks backwards on, you basically just want to place it on top of the rest of the white concrete behind that. Just like that. What you want to do next is you want to fill in the middle of this in with smooth quartz blocks. Just like that. Here, I'll show you a kind of sideways view. Now, I wasn't going to originally put the smooth quartz blocks. I was just going to make it white concrete, but I decided that... It was looking very bland, and it needed something extra, so that is what I decided to do. At the top corners of the smooth quartz blocks, you want to place an acacia button on the back, right, and left. Don't do it at the front, unless you want to. You totally could, but it doesn't really make a difference, because, well, yeah, you can't really see it from the road. So, yes, that will stay there. I gotta sneeze again, don't I? All right. 
From this back left hand corner of smooth courts, you want to count forward by one and going right, you want to place one smooth stone slab. Red wool. Orange wool. Red wool. And a smooth stone slab. Almost on the outside now. Come to the um, back of this building. You want to place an acacia button at the um, lower red concrete as well. Just like that. You then want to clear inventory and get out ladders. And at the front of three middle um, red concrete, you want to place stone, or not stone, normal ladders on. There are no stone ladders. And if you want, you can place a stone button or an acacia button or something either side of that just to kind of represent front lights. Oops, I pressed it. It's probably so close to despawning, too. All right. For the inside, you want to get out stone stairs. Red concrete. White concrete. Dark oak doors. White beds or any color works. I would prefer... White is preferable because... I think that's usually how they are in ambulances. I don't know. I've never been in an ambulance. But that's how they are in doctor's offices. So... I'd assume so. And uh, oak wood slabs. I think that's it. You could also put other crap in here. Though you probably should put more. But come into any of the doors. Or it doesn't matter. You want to come to the front. Also, I would get out something for a stealing room. I'm just going to use a polished black stone button. But at the left and the right red concrete that are in front of the front pair of doors, which are these two, you want to place a stone stair facing forward from the on the inside of either one. Just like that. I'd place a polished black stone button in front of the left one. Just don't put, just don't replace that ladder with a piece of TNT, or put a piece of TNT under it. Although that would be a good trap, if somebody had one of these and used that button for something, that'd be a good trap. I don't know why you'd want to use it as a trap, but don't ask. Now the red concrete directly behind these two doors. You want to put, you want to bring in with a red conquer and then a dark oak door in the middle. Come to the other side of the door and you want to surround it in white concrete. The two little corners here, either side of the door, you want to place an offset on oakwood slab in. And you also want to do that on the other side of these two doors. So you should have like four corners. And then either side, you can place a white bed with the pillow area on the back side of the build. And you could also, if you wanted to, get out, like, random stuff, like maybe a cauldron and put it on one of these slabs. I don't know. Up to you with what you want to do with the rest of this room. But, um, yeah, once you're doing that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your ambulance complete. Uh, quick tutorial, but again, that's really all I had time for. But, yeah, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Have a fantastic day, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.